Hello, welcome to another episode of Mike's Tech. Today we have an unboxing video and overview for, of the Intel Core i3-4130 processor. Uh, this is for the LJ1150 socket, uh, running at 3.4 GHz. This is a dual core, uh, four-way hyper-threading, and uh, runs Intel HD 4400 graphics. This is going to be a good processor for basic computing, uh, Pretty good gaming, actually. If you pair this with a good video card, it wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily put it in a high-end gaming, but um, you should be able to do pretty good with it if that's what you're all you want. And definitely, you'd have the upgrade path because the socket uh, LG eleven fifty, you know, go all the way up to the i seven forty seven seventy k. So definitely be a good uh, stopgap upgrade path for you. Um, just going to do a quick unboxing, show you what's included in the box. Um, nothing fancy here, but I will also. Um, just a minute, you'll be able to see some benchmarks. So I'm going to be benchmarking this processor. Okay, um, just go over what's inside of the box and let you see. Open it up here. Of course, the main thing in this box will be the uh, cooler, the stock cooler. Uh, let's see here. You have the authorized Intel use of Intel logo. Basically, uh, this is just saying if you want to put the Intel logo on your case, this authorizes you to do it if you're selling this to a third party or um, do it yourself. But uh, basically, I've got a nice little very thick booklet here. I'm sure it's in multiple languages. It's actually sealed. So I guess they don't want to get all messed up. But just basic installation instructions, your warranty. Um, and this is a offer from McAfee. Now, sorry McAfee, I'm not a fan of McAfee products. I see no reason in paying for McAfee when there's other options out there for free that I frankly think does as good or better. But um, if you want McAfee, it's a free trial offer. I'm not too big on that one. Uh, next, uh, we have, let's um, do the processor out here. Let's see which way this opens, this particular generation. Ah, opens down. There you go. And I'm not going to take this out right now um, because I'm not installing it to this exact moment. But uh, you see there, it says, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but it does say on that chip, there it is, Intel Core i3-4130. Um, processor, it says an LGA chip, so the pins will be on the motherboard. This is nice and flat. Um, as you can see, I'm leaving this in the plastic. I always recommend to anyone and everyone Leave your processors in the plastic. Don't. If you're going to set them down anywhere, you want them in the plastic. You don't want to put these just out on your desk, um, you know, loose. I realize the odds of it being damaged are very small. You know, they really are. But really, do you want to take a chance with your CPU? I don't. Put them in the plastic. If you ever need to upgrade, take them out. Store them back in the plastic. It's, I know, I'm sorry if I'm harping on something, but I've seen quite a few videos lately where uh, people that I actually respect, I'm not going to name names, but people I actually respect that are making their videos and before they put their processor in, they're leaving it on the table, loose. And, you know, it's not that they're going to damage it necessarily, but it's a bad, in my opinion, it's a bad example for others. So I highly recommend to anyone watching this, this plastic case is there for a reason. So, sorry to go off on a tangent there, but just my own personal thing. So, processor, and this is just going to be your standard Intel uh, heat sink, um, the four pin adapter, and I'll take this off here just to show you. Uh, it's, as you can see, this is an aluminum heat sink. Um, it comes pre applied with your thermal paste, which should be sufficient um, for what you need. And your four pins, you just push these down in the motherboard, like, you know, put them in, you just push them in. Four pin fan header, very uh, standard Intel fan, nothing, nothing fancy, but it'll get the job done for basic computing. Now, you know, you can always upgrade to an aftermarket heat sink for, you know, you can get a decent one for $30, $40, maybe less, uh, depending on the size of your case. Um, a excellent one and I've um, got it in my own case right now actually before I get a chance to do my next upgrade the uh, Cooler Master Hyper 212 um, Plus or Evo either one nice solid um, aftermarket heat sink 
I'm sure there's plenty of others out there. That's just one I have experience with. But um, this will do, you know, if you're not going to overclock, you don't really care about noise, and the client I'm building this for has specifically, I specifically asked him, because he's currently running a, um, a, um, mm -hmm, a Core 2 Duro right now, and uh, the, 74, the E7400, if I remember right, and he said, you know, the noise of that fan wasn't bothering him a bit, so there's no reason to uh, get an aftermarket heat sink fan for him if he's happy with it. So anyway, uh, this has been another edition of Mike's Tech and thank you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe down below or um, above wherever the little subscribe pops up and uh, I'll have more videos on this.